go ahead and take a look at how we can set up our MIT App Inventor account. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this account to begin creating our apps, where then we can go ahead and test them on the MIT App Companion. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is go ahead and open up a web page. Once you are on a blank web page, we're gonna to need to navigate to our URL and type in the following address. So go ahead up to your URL, and you're gonna go ahead and type in ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. Once you select enter, it's gonna ask you to verify your account. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and select on our Google account, and then from there, we should be able to begin logging in. So once you go ahead and click on that account, the next thing you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and look at these terms of service. Now these terms of service are basically just allowing us to kind of go ahead and use their site and follow along with all of their policies. So down at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna to wanna to click on I accept the terms of service. And from there, we can go ahead and begin looking at our App Inventor software. Here you'll have a little pop-up box. You can go ahead and click do not show again. And from there, you can go ahead and click on continue. Once you do that, it'll run you through a brief tutorial on what you can do with MIT App Inventor. But we're going to go ahead and select close. And from there, we're ready to begin using our MIT App Inventor software. In a later assignment, we'll go ahead and take a look at actually creating our first app.